setting up an FTP receive element inside switch. First, I'm going to check my FTP folder structure. The goal is that we will only process files that can be found in the in folders from customer 1 and 2. Inside switch, right click to open contextual menu, select new flow. We will select the blank flow. Next, we fill in name, hit the finish button. Go to your elements list and drag and drop the FTP receive element onto the canvas. Your element is highlighted, go to its properties, fill in the FTP server address. Could be an IP address or the FTP server name. The port number by default 21. Passive mode yes or no. Transfer as binary or as ASCII. Fill in your username and password. Set up your FTP directory either by filling in the folder structure yourself or in our case, choose FTP directory. You will see that a next panel will open where we could see that we have already been connected to the FTP server. Go to the needed folder. We can see at the bottom of the panel that our directory has changed to root. OK to save. Next property, leave originals on the server. In case you select yes, Switch will keep a list of all the files that he has already processed. We can also see there's an ignore updates, meaning do we want to check the file name or do we also want to see if a file has been updated. In this setup, we will not keep our originals. Next properties are related to when we want to check the FTP server. After defining the time interval properties, we can set up our subfolder levels. I have created a folder structure scheme to help me in setting up this subfolder level. I can see that the folders in are on level 2. So I go back to switch and I fill in 2. The next step is to define the folders I want to process. I select no folders to start from scratch. And then I will select to include folders named. The name of our folders that we want to include are called in. I am gonna use a regular expression to define the folder name. Next step is on which level can I find these folders. Again, using my folder scheme, I can see it's level 2. Do I have restrictions? Yes. The restriction is that we only want to process the folders called in inside the customer 1 or 2 folder. So we select with any ancestor named and for the ancestor name, we're going to define a folder pattern. We can do this by typing in customer and then a wildcard. We are not going to apply this rule onto the nested subfolders. Another property is to attach the hierarchy information. This is if we want to rebuild our folder structure at the end of our flow. We are not going to include the FTP name but we are going to include the subfolder levels. And we want to save the top folder levels because we want to keep our customer 1 and 2 folders. With the attach email info property, we can link a specific folder from the FTP server to a specific email address. Fill in our folder name as the map key and we fill in the email address that should be linked to that folder. Our FTP receive element is configured. A mail sent and archive hierarchy element have been added to the flow to show you how to use the information from the FTP receive. For example, if I include attached addresses, the email address linked to a specific folder will be used. For the archive hierarchy element, I have to make sure that my subfolder levels are set to rebuild the folder structure. I have processed some files to show you that my folder structure has been rebuilt.